突然下起了雨。小伙伴们好，这里就是贵阳的万怡丽晶酒店。本次的前说剧即将在这里举办，很荣幸我这次可以代表 JFTV 来采访前说剧的主办方。It may come as a surprise to some, but the furry fandom doesn't only exist in the United States. In fact, the fandom has reached almost every country in the world. Believe it or not, most countries have at least one furry convention hosted inside of its borders, or one that is hosted in a neighboring country. Apart from a few areas where only meets are available. So, without further ado, let's see some aspects of the furry fandom which have spread worldwide to all the furries in all of these different countries. So, conventions. These are the places where people in the furry fandom usually have a chance to hang out in the real world and interact with people who have the same interests. As I have previously stated, there are a lot of recorded furry conventions and a whole lot more meets that aren't recorded or talked about. Over 130 events have been recorded to have happened just this year in a variety of locations. However, there are even more that have been unfortunately unfortunately discontinued, which would have included far more locations for me to talk about. Either way, here is a short list of places that furry conventions have been held. <clears throat> Just kidding, I'll show you a quick list on screen of every country where a furry convention was recorded so that you can pause the video and find out if countries you thought had one does or does not. But bear in mind it doesn't include the countries with recorded or unrecorded meets. Now, moving on to art, of course there are artists everywhere in the world, which makes it quite obvious when I say that there are a lot of furry artists spread out across the world as well. However, not all art is alike, and art from artists in different countries naturally involve different cultural hints due to the artist's upbringing and country of origin, which could be quite fun to look through if you get the time. The same goes with fursuit creation. If you look at fursuits from fursuit makers in different countries, you will be able to see the differences based on art and culture that influenced that style of fursuit that had been made. On another note, although not common, literature throughout the fandom is written frequently in a variety of countries, depending on where the person may reside. There are many pieces made by furries from across the planet, which allows almost anybody, no matter what language they may speak, to engage with the furry fandom and learn more about it. Of course, this brings even more diversity to the fandom, as as more cultures are involved in works that many could read, especially if translated to English from whatever language it may have been written in previously. It could even affect the theme of the very convention that many furries are thinking of attending. These pieces can easily be found on many sites, from Fur Affinity all the way to Amazon in most regions. If you'd like to take a look at any of them, or maybe begin reading your first furry novel, you could end up hooked if the story happens to be enticing. But anyways, I truly believe that it is great that we are able to involve all of our cultures in this fandom as it increases the diversity of almost everything in the fandom and can never get boring. But if you do end up bored and you don't know what to do, maybe try learning a different language and going to a different country to experience what the culture may be like over there. You never know what you might find. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day.